Welcome to Techno Learning. This is part second where we have to write the encode and decode algorithms. And now we are writing the encode algorithm. So now I want to tell you that what is the concept behind the encryption and decryption techniques or the encode or decode algorithms. Actually, we are gonna use the simpler algorithms. The algorithm to convert the text into binary form will be used for the encryption and the algorithm for converting the binary form data to text will be used for decryption. So these two algorithms are really easy and you can find them on the internet by searching on Google then you will able to get the result and then you can copy the algorithm and paste it into the Android Studio class then you will able to run your project or the complete the algorithms so for now I'm gonna not explain about these algorithms fully in this tutorial as these are easy and you can find them on internet is a the algorithm resources are always there on the internet but I will make sure that you will able to get the code or the concept behind the code in this video so let me start from the beginning in the function enc we have created the initializer variable and gave it to the values 9 times 1 then we have created a counter and make it initialized to 0. After that we have created an array of size 9 times 1 and then we have used the loop and the condition for the loop is i is less than the size of the string that is passed into the function enc. After that we have stored the value of string in the array and make sure the counter is incremented by 1 and then we have used the string resultant string and make a variable re as result and make it initialized to none value and after this we have created a binary array of size 1 1 1 and we have also created a index value of 0 and then we run the loop and in the loop we have made two loops that is one outer loop and one inner loop and in the inner loop we are checking for the binary values as you can see that we are dividing it by 2 not we are not dividing we are just check checking the reminder if it is divisible by 2 and we are storing it into the binary array and then we are dividing the temp value and from where we are getting the temp value from the outer loop itself and in the next meantime we have make a string variable digits that is dig and initialize to null after that we have created another variable temps temps is different than the temp variable that we have created previously as it is of type int and now the temps is of type strings and we are creating a for loop uh, in the for loop we have just concatenating the digits after converting the string into integer form then we are going to reverse the whole thing now the concept behind the encryption starts from here we, we have just converted into the binary form but for the security purpose and for the encryption we are reversing the whole binary value that we have got from the converting the text into binary form so in this for loop we have just done this work 
and in the last we have make the result to concatenate it to reverse value and store it in res after that we will return the value result from this function and here we are just uh, concatenating regarding to the variable in slicer or the yes we have now written the result now you can see that the encode class is error free and i am just going through the class you can also see that and if you get error anywhere then you can pause the video and check it now we are in the decode class and in the decode class we have to write the function of decode or decryption so decode class is responsible for decryption purpose so in this class also we have to create a function for decryption so now i'm going to create a function that is public static and it will also return the value of string and the name of the function will be tag and it will also take up the value string as and now in this function we are going to use the conversion of binary form to text form so first of all for if we are getting any type of error then we are just making it a type of warning or you can say a exception that we have made that inv string that this code was not encrypted by crypto king uh, it's mean that if you have taken value from anywhere else and you are just typing it into the app then you will not able to convert it or decrypt it as it was not generated by this app this app will generate the decryption code of encryption that is done by this app only now you can see that we have also make the initializer in this class also and the value is 9 times once and we have also make a flag variable that is of type boolean and make it to true and then we are checking it if the character at initializer is not equals to character of string i then we are making the flag false and breaking the loop after that we are making the string data as a new variable where we'll temporarily uh, store the characters of the string s and concatenate it to data type of string now uh, this this decode class code you can find on the internet too and it is really easy to find the code of uh, just uh, you know uh, convert it from the text uh, to binary and then binary to text but some kind of code you will able to get only the languages like c and c++ make sure that the code you have copied from the internet is in java or you have to convert it from c or c++ to java it will be tedious to you i suggest you to just copy the code from my video as i am writing the code you just have to write it as same and then you will able to run the app so as you see that in this part i have created another sending two dimensional array of size 11101 and 8 and here we are going to use two indexes first of all as the binary codes will be converted into textual form so for this we are checking for uh, you know it's divisible by 7 or not and then we are making the index of first value will be plus plus that is increment after that we have made it the index 2 is 
then we are storing it into temp and after that we are storing the index 1 and index 2 it is a kind of matrix you can consider where we are storing the temp value in form of text and after that we'll making the index to increment so that it can go to the next position and in the else condition if the i that is the index of the loop is not divisible by 7 then we are going to use the else part that is we are directly storing it and not making the increment in index 1 we are just making the increment in index 2 here after that uh, we are creating the another array of num and the size of this array is triple one 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 now this algorithm of decryption or decode is little harder from the encryption as from making changes from encryption to decryption is also kind of thing that you have to take care well so here i am creating two loops that is nested for loops for storing the temp value and then the insider for loop and you can see that the outer loop is started from zero whereas the inner for loop is started from the last value that is i take up the value of j from 6 and it is greater than equals to 0 then I am storing it uh, to the you know the 2 to the power of ct uh, ct was the count and in this uh, block of code I am checking the decode uh, ok here I have to take up the library of maths uh, remember that the choosing the real library will also uh, good practice whereas if you take up the wrong library then it will show you some kind of error so you must take care of it after that you can see that I am incrementing the temp by multiplying the ascent array value with temp1 then again I am making the count increment and then in the num array to the current index I am incrementing it and storing it the value of temp uh, here you can see that I am making the reverse string that is I have already talked about the encrypted value that we got from converting the text into the binary form then we uh, you know just reverse the order and going for the same in the decode or the decryption algorithm as per the encryption algorithm we have to make sure that uh, we have reversed the result and so we got the real value that we encrypted and here you can see that we have uh, concatenated the reverse value and here we will check the length uh, with the modulo 7 if it is equals to 0 and also we will check up the flag then on basis of this condition will return the reverse that is rv and if it is not then we'll have the else condition and for the else condition we directly reverse the inv value and in this here you can see that uh, uh, we have to remove this extra space so that you can see the code so here we removed it now you can check out that there is no errors only warnings are there so here the decode algorithm completes and I am just scrolling down if you get anywhere confusion or error you can check it out so thank you you can subscribe us